Hey kids, it's uh, Chef Pat here and I'm once again partnering with my friends at Farm Fresh Ontario uh, to talk to you about what we can do with some of the ingredients that you just might find at your local on-farm market. I know every time I do this I talk about the ingredient as being my favorite but I don't think I'm lying when I say corn is about my favorite ingredient and so today we're going to feature corn in a really simple recipe and we're going to make something called elote today. Elote is basically a, a grilled, handheld kind of corn that was originated in street markets in Mexico. It's really fun to eat and it's actually really simple. This corn here, I now I roasted. I just turned my oven on to 350 degrees, put it onto a baking sheet and put the corn in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. You can see the husks look a little cooked now. The great thing about the corn is there's so much moisture in there that you can cook it dry in the oven and the steam will moisten everything and cook that corn and you can see the color difference. So I'm gonna finish peeling this one and I'm gonna show you uh, how we set up our elote. So you, as you can see, once they're peeled and cooled, the husk wants to come right off. Now you can leave this on for decoration. I'm gonna peel these leaves off, but I am gonna leave the stem on this cob because we want to use that as a handy little handle. So I've got this corn here this corn here. I've got a few other ones I made earlier. Um, so what we're going to do now is even though this corn is cooked, we want to give it some color and richen up the flavor a little bit just by cooking the outside. So I've got my flat top here and I'm going to take the corn and I'm just going to cook the outside. If you had a charcoal grill at home, you can roll them around the charcoal grill. And if you don't have a flat top or a grill, we can toast it right over an open flame. And you can see it doesn't take much time at all to get a little bit of char on that corn and that's gonna help develop that sweet flavor. Traditional uh, street corn recipe would involve definitely mayonnaise, lime juice, some salt. This is like a chili powder or something that's called tahine. It's like a little spice if you're not familiar with it, it's a little spice and it has a little bit of vitamin C in it. So it has a little bit of whoof, so it's got some heat, but it also has some acid uh, to wake up your tongue. I know cilantro is a very polarizing herb. It traditionally goes on the street corn. I'm gonna put it on mine because I like it, but I know some other people don't, so I'm listing it as optional uh, in my recipe. So I'm gonna take my first piece of corn, a little bit of mayonnaise, and this will help to glue the rest of the ingredients on. Now, people have asked me in the past, can I use sour cream instead of mayonnaise? Yes, you can, but just be aware that sour cream may want to fall off of this corn cob a little quicker than the mayo. The mayo sticks a little better, so we're going with a little mayonnaise here. I'm gonna salt it. The mayonnaise is a great glue, so let's put a little bit of salt over that. We talked about the lime juice. Now, you can put the lime juice right into the mayonnaise or sprinkle it right on top afterward. Now down in Mexico, they would use a cheese called uh, cotilla or a queso fresco. Uh, but if you have a feta cheese, it's a very similar, it's a dry crumbly cheese. And I have feta here because that's just what I have on hand. So I'm gonna go over my final plate and we're just gonna sprinkle it with all this feta. And finally, to give it a little how you doing, I'm gonna hit these guys with my tahini for a little bit of spice and a little bit of color and a little bit of decoration. And then finally that cilantro we talked about, I'm just gonna put it on one of these and we're gonna go one with and one without. Now, I'm gonna take the elote and I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of butter instead of mayonnaise. And that there butter is gonna help, again, the corn, help everything else stick to the corn. So let's butter that guy down. And I'm still gonna add a little bit of salt, but now we're gonna dip into this honey. And we're gonna get, this is gonna be a bit messy, this one. You want either a napkin or you may want a second shirt. And then from here, I'm gonna add a little bit of my pickled chili flakes and also a little bit of jalapeno. And now we have two different versions I hope you like it and I hope that you visit a farm and if you end up making something like this, take a picture and post it with the hashtag 
Farm Fresh ON Cooks on Instagram, and uh, we'll get a good giggle of everyone eating their street corn. If you jump onto our website, you can go on our Find a Farm page, you can find a member farm, and visit one of the on-farm markets all throughout Ontario, especially this time of year, July through September, just as absolute corn season. Thank you